Hello everyone, welcome to this, uh, I guess first I'll call, or last, or the middle part of a series, talking about how to shift from AutoCAD into SketchUp. And uh, I'll post out along with this a link to some Google Documents uh, for anyone who wants to look at the kind of overall arching thing here. But we're going to start with this kind of discussion being predicated on a couple of things. And one is that you're trained as a 2D AutoCAD drafter so you know about the offset and fill it. Um, you also know about how to go about putting lines in by polar and you'll realize that anyone who deals with some of us who realize that the at command in AutoCAD which is at something comma something comma something is relative um, Cartesian coordinates and something less than something less than something is relative polar coordinates will know what I mean so to do that you need basically to make this transfer over to SketchUp along with many other things you need to have a couple of plugins and those would be this idea of being able to put in a polar line but even more importantly if you think about it the fillet command here and this is a 2D fillet um, ruby so we can take a look at some point on what the rubies are but a fillet ruby and a, um, a polar ruby so let's go about, go about drafting here and go with some of our basic rules. Well, some of our basic rules we'll figure out as we go along, but I'm going to make, let me go back to here. I want to make sure that my units are correct when I'm starting anything in any program. This is called setting the environment, and we're going to go to our model info, and we're going to put everything in decimal feet for now. Very often, this angular unit thing, you might want to take off, turn off the snapping sometimes. Well, what are our rules? Well, one rule is going to be you want to have a box sitting around that you'll be able to grab. Another rule is we very quickly right-click and make groups or make a component. I'm going to go ahead and take this here. It is it looks like it's a component already. It made one already pretty quickly and I didn't change the component and then a next one is you're gonna go with layers you're gonna make some layers so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few right now and give them names obviously but we're not gonna do that here that's one of your rules your rules is then you draft very often you get a plane down that you can snap to so that plane there is there it makes it sometimes nice to right click reverse faces and have the white face up I'm not sure how it picks what's up in terms of the normal face now your rule is basically to do what you'd know how to do in AutoCAD. So you generally want to hold your mouse long enough to do the on face. That assures that this is on a face. Now what you realize then in AutoCAD is that the offset command would work pretty nicely. In AutoCAD to offset and then fill it and whatever else. But in this program you don't necessarily have that choice. So what you do is you grab the thing, grab the tool, hit control, holding down control and it see how it's not locking you in the direction you want so there's going to be some extra steps here or some copy parallel depending on what you want to do so I'll just go ahead and kind of show you that sense there to take you now to the next that's that put a parallel but along that axis here so if I go about now drawing it from a line to here to here again it's quite correct to draft a line from there to there, but it's going to get the habit of using the copy control key going from end to end and then realizing hopefully that it found that edge there is an important thing. However, let's check out the fillet tool. Remember how we would basically you're going to need to draft in this program. In AutoCAD you would need to actually, you wouldn't have to draw your, draw your lines so they were um, coincident about a point but in SketchUp you will to use this 2D fillet tool and that 2D fillet tool is in should come up here when you download it you fill it you grab your two edges first I'm going to grab that edge which is sometimes hard to grab so I hit a spacebar cleans everything grab hold the shift key you've grabbed two then you go to tools you go to fillet and you set your radius um, I don't know four and you see that it made your fillet there. Try it again. You, you grab the two edges, so you're going to have to hit a space bar to clear. You're trying to grab the edge, so you hold the shift, then go to fillet tool, and you give it the radius. I don't know this time, I guess I'll try it 30. That, it worked. It did the math. It's not quite what you want. 
So you might want to do edit undo create fillets. And so we'll try it again. Not time that's time not with 30. Remember your spacebar clears your palette. You select, hold the shift, hit select, draw tools, I'm sorry, that fillet tool. Radius, I'll make the radius 10 at this point, and it goes ahead and does that perfect radius. So that is going to make things much easier for those of you who are used to the fillet command. And there's probably some settings with how many kind of um, that space bar becomes important. You're going to see that space bar clearing, if you would. Space bar or clicking up here to clear your selection set is a kind of a key tool that we'll be talking about. All right, so that's the fillet tool. The other tool, fillet tool and the offset tool. So the other thing I'm going to show you, which is kind of a really key thing here, and I'm not going to say I have it mastered, that if you're going to do this kind of offset drafting, there's going to be a lot of times where you're going to need to change the coordinates on your system. And so when you go about doing it something like this, once you've kind of changed your system, your, your coordinates here, right, you're going to need to do that so you can do things like this. Very often turn off the axes, even though you don't need them. To see them, you grab that. Now when you hit your control and you want to go on offset here, I'm going to hit the control here, you see how it's offsetting along that green line, and that green line should be offset. So I'm going to go here. Maybe I wanted that to be 10 feet. Now, again, this is basically for those who have drafted in AutoCAD and you're trying to make these tools kind of work the same. I will point out that there are better ways to draft this in SketchUp, and we'll be looking at those and investigating. But understanding how you can do things by offset, once again now from that endpoint there to the endpoint there, grab that. Now things are perpendicular. I'm going to grab the thing I want to offset in terms of the, the offset word in AutoCAD, grab the tool, hit the Control key, and do that copy from one to the other. Now I want to point out that offset means something different or the same in SketchUp when you get to plane. So the offset tool is quite useful. We can grab an edge of a thing and we can offset in. Maybe I'll all go ahead and offset that in one foot. And I can now do the same. Offset will remember. It should remember each time. And if I just click on this, it should remember one foot and it's not one foot. And I'm going to do the same. So I've basically used the offset command here. And you'll see there's a lot of great use to that. If we take this now and do a move up in space by hitting the up arrow, right? And then eventually kind of grabbing some more, grabbing this. And let's see what happens when I move that up. Hitting the up key. There's all kinds of different things obviously you can do with the offset tool in SketchUp. So as a review, let's see how many things we covered. Well, first was that we have someplace out here that box, but now of course that box doesn't mean anything because it's in a different coordinate system, but I could put another box here by doing a component. I've only got one in the model. And there it is. And now when I bring that in, I've got something that if I want to go ahead and group or play around with moving things around, I can grab something with faces. So I'm going to take that there. I'm going to go ahead and grab all that there. I don't know. I'll go ahead and make it a group just so I can now do this. I want to rotate that group. So I select, grab my tool, go to my face, hold the shift key. Now it's holding that face so I can do something like this and start playing around. So that idea of having that box around that we can drop in and set up our coordinates so we can grab faces. Now let's say I want to grab and rotate this about another direction. I can grab grab the tool, grab the face holding the shift key, and I can take and move that up there, however I may want to. Now again, you're going to see there's all kinds of different tools in SketchUp, but understanding that you bring these boxes in, and a key thing then in the end is if we're going to go ahead and really get to setting the axes up, you got to have them turned on so you can see them, view, axes, and then what you do is you select on the axis. Trying that. Hopefully I won't run out of time. So we're going to go to axes. 
and now when I pick on it and right click reset sets it back to zero and so we're back to there so that's not great and we're gonna highlight and let you comment on clearing this up but we've made a box we've set our units correctly we've actually learned how to change the coordinate system by using that tool there we've done grouping and we've done a couple other things thanks for listening